Good morning, garden friends. Today I am going to be doing some winter sewing. I'm a little late because I should have been doing this on December 21st, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And what I'm gonna be winter sewing is purple cone flowers, some Russell Hybrid Mix Color Lupine, these are some marigolds that I had collected earlier in the year. And then I got blue mist from a garden friend that had sent it to me in the, in the mail. And I'll be putting a picture of these because this is absolutely gorgeous. But the first thing I have to do is get the holes drilled into my little containers. I'm gonna be using these instead of the milk jugs. I didn't seem to have good success with the milk jugs. So I figured, and you know me, I'm always trying something new and see how it ends up working out. So got my drill and my bit to go ahead and make sure that I put holes in the bottom so this has proper drain. So I'm putting six little holes in these containers. Like I said, so we got a proper drain. And then two, they have the clear tops to them. Let's see if I can do a couple of them at a time since the drill bit is long enough. All right, let's check and make sure. Oh yeah, the holes actually went all the way through. So perfect. So I think, wait a minute, I have two, four, eight of these containers and I have two, four, four different packet seats. So I'm going to do two of each to up my chances of being successful. Okay. And then I got my duct tape to seal it up. But I'll go ahead and I'll get the soil in here. And then, depending on the plant, uh, will be the determining factor of how deep I end up planting these. And one of the things I did do was I uh, wetted the soil, because I usually don't like pour water on it, so it doesn't move the seeds from the location that I ended up planting them in. stuff moved out the way and then guys this is I got this off of I think Amazon to where you can store your seeds um, and it actually has you know multiple compartments um, that I put my seeds in so that makes it really nice are about almost half full and it's nice and loose you don't you want it to be able to drain for you so the first one is going to be the luminous and this actually self seeds itself so um, if you end up using it, because that's what garden for a headset, put it in a spot that you don't mind, it's self-seeding for you. And I have the ideal spot for it. Scrape these seeds in there. Might just end up getting a bunch of them. And these seeds are very, very tiny.
put the lids on it and then get my marker so I can mark these guys. But I'll just go ahead and put this on top. So that's what that's for. Okay, so the next one is going to be my um, fairies. I'm hoping these guys do really well. I, I, I forget the name of them, but they get the big cluster of flowers, heads on them. It looks like I don't really only need to use uh, one of the pods. And then I'll definitely uh, end up sending them out once they take root. And this is my thing, better to put more in <laughs> They're not enough. Okay. And then what I'll do is uh, use the duct tape to seal it up. do the loop high. Now I did these last year and this is the thing. It grew but it would never flower for me. But the leaves on it was just so nice. So I, I'm going to try it again because I think these flowers are just adorable. And these seeds are sort of small. I'm going to put 12 seeds in here and then hopefully um, I end up getting something from them. And then this is the thing with uh, winter sowing, uh, just making sure that it's in a um, sunny location, you know, because they can handle the cold and then we don't get freezing well, let me rephrase it. We get freezing weather, but uh, usually not for a long period of time. I think the longest we had a freeze was three days in a row. So, And then the lupine is a perennial. So I'm kind of hoping the one that I have up in my secret garden comes back for me <laughs> this year. Um, or actually next year in 2024. And... This time, give me some flowers. Okay, just a little pine. And then I just might. Um, no, I probably won't, because the soil is, the soil is moist, and, um, and then it's supposed to rain. Yeah, it's supposed to rain this week, so worry too much about it and then the last is my echinaceas I so love these let me see how many seeds I got in here hopefully Ooh, I might only be able to do one let's see oh no let's see here I might be able to do two and then once these guys start to sprout I'll probably move them into bigger containers. And I do believe, you know, with the weather being uh, cold, because uh, I don't think we're going to get over 50 uh, for this next week, you know, that does not end up speeding up the process for them to germinate. But I also have to be careful the seeds don't rot. Okay, so the echinaceas are done. Put these over here. Get the duct tape. And like I said, the duct tape is to keep the lids on. Keep it sealed up. Now make sure it has that greenhouse effect duct tape does to where it's just the opening at the top and then that allows water to come through. Guys, I, I think the one year I used 
like that clear tape. Now, <laughs> stick with the duct tape. Okay, that's one down. May not look pretty, but you know, let's see the success that we end up having with uh, my um, winter sewing of these flowers. So let me go ahead and get the rest of these done. All right, I am all done with the items that I uh, chose to winter sew. My marigolds, my blue mist, my lupine and my cone flowers. What I'm going to do is I am going to uh, place these guys outside in a sunny location to where they're getting the most sun throughout the day during the winter. Uh, and then also make sure that if it rains, they're gonna be able to be naturally watered. Uh, the one thing, we are supposed to be having a couple days where the temperatures go below freezing and I will move these guys into my greenhouse to make sure that they are protected. Uh, the other thing that I wanna mention, we all have our different styles when it comes to gardening. What I like to do is to be able to share with you guys the different techniques that I use that I have found has allowed me to be successful in my garden journey. Now, does that mean I know everything? Nope. But I do believe when you end up sharing your knowledge and the successes of your garden journey, that becomes a win-win for everybody. So I just want, you know, you know, you guys to know that, you know, I don't profess to know everything because I've had some failures, you know, when it comes to gardening. But what I like to do is share with you the things that I have found that has allowed me to be successful in my garden journey. So thank you again for visiting Inspiring Garden Corner and you have a wonderful day.